it's April 2014. A year ago, I said I would um, make a George Strait Day video and tell the story about the adventures of Sister Janice and Barb in Grand Forks in February at the George Strait concert. And I said that in order to raise just a little bit more donation for Autism Awareness Month uh, and for an organization that our family works with called TACA. Well, I never did that. We tried, we made a couple videos, didn't work out, we lost them, camera's dead, and here it is a year later. So I need to fulfill that obligation and tell you a couple of the highlights from last year at the George Strait Day concert in Grand Forks. First of all, why would anyone send anyone to Grand Forks in February? But they did. Couldn't have been quite as much fun for George as it was for Janice and I, since it was a work day and it was, uh, what, 25 below without the wind chill? Anyway, bought me a George Strait t-shirt, said I wasn't gonna, because, you know, George and I used to be friends on Facebook, but I had to unfriend him. Why? Because he kept sending these Facebook messages. Hey, ladies, get your new uh, George Strait t-shirt. I had to drop him because it was obnoxious. First thing I did was buy a George Strait t-shirt. 20 bucks after the concert. You know, they're only 10, but live and learn. Uh, I also was in charge of getting the room at the Alaris Center for after the concert. And I got the very last room available, which was awesome until we got there to check in and guess what? I had made the reservation for the next night. Again, live and learn, but um, young Justin, who was uh, at the counter checking us in and said, no ma'am, you don't have a room until tomorrow night. I thought, you know, getting people to do that which they don't wanna do, that's my whole job. So I called in the big guns. Hey, Sister Janice, come over here. Flirt with young Justin a little bit. Get him to um, give us first dibs on any cancellations that come in. Okay, so he takes he takes her phone number. We go over to the cafe. No room in the cafe. A couple of big oil field guys blocking the way. You can't get in there. There's no tables. Again, we are not concerned. We know how to get a table. We just walk in, walk around, because we're from North Dakota. We're going to know somebody. And about three tables in, we sit down because we know somebody. And about two minutes later, young Justin calls, got you a room. Uh, the price is non-negotiable. Let's just say the room costs more than the t-shirt, but you know, again, live and learn. Uh, the next uh, probably big stupid highlight was when the concert started and Janice and I, who had great tickets, started clapping. Nobody else did because it wasn't, it wasn't George. Live and learn. At the end of the concert, which was awesome by the way, Janice turned to me and said, should we go? Should we get going? Where are we gonna go? It's just Grand Forks and we're staying right here. We go when George goes. It was a great concert. We had an awesome time. We were kind of silly once in a while. Um, they wanted us to park at the Fargo Dome. So instead of parking at the Fargo Dome, we slid into the parking area where the George Strait trucks were and hid in between two of the trucks till the parking guy wasn't looking and then we slid into the parking lot. Almost got in trouble there, but again, we didn't. So we were awesome. We had such a good time at George Strait Day in Grand Forks in February of 2013 that we went to Vegas in February of 2014. I guess if you wanna hear that story, you'll have to tune in to Autism Awareness Month next month. I'd like to thank my awesome family and friends, especially Trudy and Janelle and Donna and Dina and my mother-in-law Fran, Rita, um, did I say Donna, Christina, Jill. Thanks, thanks for supporting Autism Awareness Month. I learned a lot from all my friends. I learned a lot from George Strait Weekend, and I learned from Charlie every day. Thanks.